In this module, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint Motion Path Animation. I'll start by showing you how to add Motion Path to an object. We'll edit our Motion Path, and I'll show you how to delete it as well. And then after that, we'll go into using Advanced Motion Path features. Motion Path Animation can be applied to slide objects to enhance your slides and also draw attention to specific points within it. So let's begin by adding a motion path to an object. So I'm going to go to my second slide here. I've got some rockets on here that I want to have go across my screen. Now when you apply motion path to an object, if you've got multiple objects, you can do each one individually or you can do them as a group. For this example, I'm going to do them all as a group. So I'm going to select all of the rockets. To do that, I'm going to hold down my left clicker and drag it across all the objects. Now I'm going to make the box bigger than the objects because I want to make sure it selects all four of these. Once I release it, I want to make sure I've got four boxes here and I do. So I've got all my objects selected and now I need to go ahead and add my animation to them. Animations are done on the Animations tab and for this we're going to go to the Animation group and click the expansion arrow. This is going to pull up the various types of animations available. We're going to go towards the bottom to the motion paths. And here we're going to choose arc because we want it to arc across the screen. So we'll click on arc. It's going to do a preview and show us how it's arcing. Now on here you can see once we've added our animation, it gives us a number. It's number one because this is the first animation we've added to the slide. If we add additional animations, it'll number them two, three, four, and so forth. And we can see the path it's going to take it's going to take a down arc. Now we wanted to use an up arc. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the animations tab, the animation group, and come over to effect options. When we click on this, it's going to give us directions that are available to us. Now you'll also notice on here, we've got a lock and unlocked. If you lock the animation, that means when anytime you send this slide out to anyone, they won't be able to change the animation motion that you've added. Okay, so now we're going to change it to an up. In our preview, we can see it goes up. Now that's nice, but it's not quite what we wanted to do. So we're going to come in and we're going to change it. So what we're going to do first is we'll delete the animation we have and we'll add a new animation path. So to delete an animation path, all you need to do is click on the line for the path. And once you have it highlighted with the box, hit the delete key. And so I'm going to just do that for each of my boxes because I want to delete them all. So now I'm going to go ahead and select them all again. So I'm going to make my big box. I have my four objects selected. I'm going to come up to the down arrow to expand it out again. And this time I'm going to do a custom path. With a custom path, you tell it where to go. So you can see I've got the crosshair for my mouse cursor. So now I'm just going to drag how I want it to be. And once I get to the point where I want it to be, I'll hit the escape key to end the path. Once I hit the escape key, it adds my path to each one of my objects because I had them all selected. So we can see it's kind of going to go all the way across the screen. So if I come up here and click preview on the animation tab, we can see the path it's going to take. So remember, you can always come in and add a custom path to your animation by just coming up to the animations area, animation group, and click the down arrow to expand it and choose custom path. Now we're going to move on to some more advanced options that are available. So let's come over to our next slide. And here I've got some footprints and I'm going to have a race across the screen. So for this, I'm going to do individual ones. So I'm going to click on this one first. I'm going to come up to the animations tab the animation group, and I'm going to click the expansion arrow again. From here, I'm going to come down to where it says more motion paths. And here I've got all kinds of motion paths that are available to me to choose from. So you can have things do whatever you want. So for this one, I'm going to have it do an S curve. You saw my preview there and you can see how it goes. This one I'm going to choose Again, Animations tab, Animation group, and the Expansion arrow. Or you can come over to the Animations tab, Advanced Animation, and click Add Animation. It's going to bring you up the list as well, and you'll come down to where it says More Motion Paths. Either way, it's going to take you to the same area. 
For this one, I'm going to choose a diagonal upright. There it goes up the screen. And we'll choose this one. We'll come back in. And let's do a zigzag for this one. Looks like he's running across the screen. We'll come over and get this one. And for this one, we're going to draw our own path. So we'll come over to our Animations tab, Animation Group. Let's click down and come to Custom Path. Let's just have him go like this. Hit the Escape key to finish your custom path, and it sets it. So let's click the Preview so we can see how everything looks. Great. So as you can see on here, we've done four different motion path animations. So what I want to do at this time is I want to change the order of them. Now in order to come in and change the order, we need to pull up the pane that shows us the details about our motion path animations. To do that, we want to make sure we're on the Animations tab. We'll come over to the Advanced Animation Group and we'll click Animation Pane. Once we click on it, it's going to pull up our animation pane on the right here. Here it's going to list all of our animations. It's got them numbered so we know which one comes in which order. And if we want to change them so they're in a different order, all we need to do is click on the one we want to move and drag it to the new location. So let's say, for instance, we want to make number one, number three. I'm clicking on number one and holding down my left clicker. And I'm dragging it below number two and number three. And now it is the third one. So what it does is it goes in and renumbers everything for us. Each one of the animations, when you click on it, is it's going to show a down arrow to the right of it. If you click on that, it's going to give you other options that are available. You can have the animation click on Start. It can start with the previous. It can start after previous. You can also set up some effects and also do timings. So if I want this one to start with the previous, You'll see that it took away the number because it is part of number one now. And you can see over here it's got number one, number one, because they're going to run together. So let's go ahead and run it again. You can see there they go. That one goes, and that one goes. Now at this point, if I wanted to change the length of any of the motion path animations, all I need to do is go to that motion path animation. For instance, if I wanted to make my zigzag longer, I'm going to come over here to this arrow on the box, click, and drag it out. So let's do our preview. There we go. So that's how you add, delete, modify, and work with the advanced features for motion path animation. Remember, motion path animation is on the animations tab. It can be accessed from the animations group by clicking on the expansion arrow going to Motion Paths, or coming down here and clicking More Motion Paths. You can also go to the Animations tab, come over to the Advanced Animation group, and click Add Animation to get the effects as well by coming to the Motion Path Animations. If your animation pane does not appear automatically, make sure you go to the Animations tab, come over to the Advanced Animation group, and click Animation Pane. It's a toggle to turn it on and off. This is where you could come and change the order just by clicking and dragging. You can also do a right click and remove an animation from here if you don't want to come over here and click on it and hit the delete key. Remember you can easily apply your motion path animation to your slide objects to enhance them and also to draw attention to specific points.